Guangxi Zhuang Autonomous Region is the primary home of the largest minority group in China, the Zhuang ethnic minority. The ancestors of the Zhuang people have created a glorious history with numerous achievements. In the 20th century, archaeologists discovered some carbonized rice hulls from between 12,000 and 20,000 years ago in the relics of the Sangwu people, ancestors of the Zhuang. These are the evidence of the earliest rice civilization that's been discovered to date. At another site, a piece of a plant fiber textile was discovered in the bottom of a pot. It's considered the earliest handmade textile in human history and suggests that the ancestors of the Zhuang people might have been pioneers of artificial rice production and weaving. The Zhuang people are extraordinary for another reason as well. They're the only group on earth who worship the goddess of song. The Zhuang ethnic minority boasts a legendary figure known to nearly everyone in China. Her name is Liu Sanjie. Folklore has it that Lu Sanjie was a Zhuang girl who lived in the Tang Dynasty around the 8th century. She had a melodious voice and was also good at composing and singing. After she died, the Zhuang people worshipped her as the goddess of song. Each year they celebrate their most important festival, the Folk Song Festival, on the third day of the third lunar month, a day to commemorate Lu Sanjie. Over a thousand years later, her talent for singing is still being passed on by the Zhuang people. Every weekend, Nong Min Jian takes a trip to the villages around Pingguo County. The trip is not for sightseeing, but for enjoying folk songs, and everyone knows that he's a huge fan of the Zhuang folk songs. We've all heard about people who are famous for singing, but how did Nong become famous for just being a fan? Let's take a look into the past and find out. Nong Min Jian is an ethnic Zhuang who used to work as a government official in Napo County in Guangxi several years ago and was constantly troubled with the problem of how to promote local economic development. The county lies in the Dasha Mountains and suffers from both a fragile economic environment and tough natural conditions, making it difficult to develop. Once on his travels, he visited a remote village named Tun Li Tun which impressed him so much that the memory is imprinted on his mind. It turns out that the people in this village belong to a special branch of the Zhuang ethnic group known as the Black Clothes Zhuang. It's said that once upon a time, the tribe was under attack and their leader was injured. As he fled, it occurred to him to try applying natural indigo dye to his wound. To his surprise, the wound healed quickly and he 
was able to fight again and successfully protect the tribe's home. Since then, natural indigo has been considered a holy plant by the tribe. When people started wearing black clothes dyed with natural indigo, hence the name, the black clothes Duang. For thousands of years, they've lived a self-sustaining farming life with unchanged traditions. And what's more, they've preserved their beautiful folk songs. Nong never expected to be so impressed by the music in such a remote village. At that moment, an idea occurred to him. Why not try using this small village to promote local culture? Nong Minjian set about studying the culture and folk arts of the Duang people. His initial purpose was to promote local development. However, the more he learned, the more he was attracted by this magnificent culture. In the winter of 2001, a group of singers wearing pure black caught the attention of the public. They were the Nidia Choir, made up of people from the Black Clothes Zhuang living in Napo County. And the inspiration for the choir came from Nong. <laughs> This is what he intended to do. By researching the black clothes Zhuang culture and folk songs from all branches of the Zhuang people, Nong Min Jian is helping to promote local development by promoting polyphonic singing and building an ethnic minority cultural brand. At that time, people noticed that the polyphonic singing of the black clothes Zhuang was becoming a popular topic in the domestic media. The public became interested in this mysterious group living in the remote mountains and in their black clothes, their cultural traditions and their melodic voices. Recognition by the public and the resulting popularity of the polyphonic songs have brought a variety of outcomes under Nong's cultural brand strategy. Napur County has now become a tourist attraction, featuring the fascinating culture and traditions of the ethnic minorities in southwestern China. And the village of Tun Li Tun has developed into a cultural landmark, attracting foreign tourists who are interested in the black clothes Zhuang. For Nong Minjian himself, in the process of cultural research, he has become a huge fan of collecting and studying the folk songs of ethnic minorities. It is Nong Min Jian who has brought the folk songs of the Duang people out of the mountains and presented them to the world. And that's the reason why in the folk song community of Guangxi, he is considered to be a kind of local folk song king.
Villages in Pingor County are about to hold a folk song fair. As the president of the Association of Liao Songs in Pingor County and the recognized king of Liao Songs, Huang Guoguan is sure to show up at the fair. The Liao Song is a kind of Zhuang folk song popular in Pingguo County, Guangxi. Most of the folk songs in the world can be considered oral literature, but the Liao Song is different. It's transcribed for dissemination. The Zhuang people often hold a songbook and sing while looking at the script, which contains Liao songs written in the ancient Zhuang characters. Shortly after the successful promotion of the Black Clothes Zhuang cultural brand, Nong Min Jian was transferred from Napo to Pingguo to serve as the director of the Standing Committee of the People's Congress in the county. When he first came to Pingguo, he would never have thought he would be connected to Liao songs, whose melodies seem to be a bit monotonous. At a time when most traditional local folk songs are no longer of interest to the public at large, the fact that the local people in Pingor County are extremely fond of folk songs was surprising to Nong Ming Jian. What is it that makes Liao songs so vibrant and attractive? <laughs> On the way to the folk song fair, Huang Guoguan and the members of the association could not hold in their excitement and begin to sing. The Liao song emphasizes literariness so the educational background of the singer has a direct connection to his or her performance. Huang Guoguan once served as the director of the local education authority and has a college degree. He's familiar with the format recorded in the songbook and is also good at creative improvisation. In a 2007 folk song competition held in Guangxi, Huang Guoguan stood out from the 70 folk singers and was named one of Guanxi's top 10 folk singers. After the foundation of the Association of Liao Songs, Huang was elected president. Activities organized by the Association of Liao Songs are always well received by local residents. In Huang Guoguan's opinion, this is not because of his personal appeal, but rather should be attributed to people's passion for Liao songs. This is especially true for elderly people whose personal lives are closely related to these songs. Unlike Huang, Nong Ming Jian doesn't sing Liao songs at all, but his achievements in this field can by no means be ignored. <laughs> This is 
提醒我现在搜集到的聊歌超过十万首歌。Why are Liao songs so popular? To answer this question, Nong Min Jian embarked on his journey of exploration to better understand the essence of Liao songs. During his journey, he visited many villages and interviewed a great number of folk singers. Through his efforts, Nong realized that the charm and appeal of those songs are far beyond people's expectations. Two 文字来记载下来的，是从唐宋发明以来，以及流传到川菜的。接受着藏族聊歌。Liao songs are a mirror on the Zhuang people's long history and rich culture. They're a perfect reflection and expression of various aspects of the Zhuang people's lives. Huang Guoguan and other singers sing Liao songs at festivals to promote the tradition. While Nong Min Jian, not a singer at all, is also doing his best to help preserve this traditional legacy in his own ways. During his long period of research and interviews with local people, Nong felt quite uneasy. On the one hand, he was attracted by Liao Song's culture and beauty. But on the other hand, he found out that most of the local singers are elderly people and that Liao Songs are hardly known in other parts of China. In Napur County, Nong Ming Jian organized a chorus, and its members are all black clothes Zhuang people. It turned out to be a huge success, and they're now performing on the international stage. Once again, Nong is currently faced with the same challenge of both promoting and protecting this tradition. How does he deal with this? Employed by the Guanxi branch of the Aluminium Corporation of China, Zhao Yu and Mo Yan Se are now not working with aluminium. Instead, they practice rock singing every day. Their band is called Ha Liao, meaning singing Liao songs out loud. They signed up for the 14th CCTV Young Singers Contest, and after several rounds of competition, they've entered the top 20. In a few weeks, they'll travel to Beijing to face the next round of intense competition. Zhao Yu is the founder of Ha Liao. In 2003, he and several other rock fan colleagues established a rock band called Zebra Crossing. At the very beginning, they established the band out of a pure love for music. After a number of successful shows, they became more motivated and ambitious wanting to perform on larger stages. For all their love and passion, Zebra Crossing was not distinctive or unique at all. This made it very difficult for them to stand out and succeed, and in the end their efforts didn't pay off. As a result, band members left one after another, and Zhao Yu felt really disappointed. The success of the association of Liao songs wouldn't be possible without the help of Nong Ming Jian. When he and Huang Guoguan first met each other, Huang had not been crowned one of the top ten folk singers of Guanxi, but he had already translated the lyrics of thousands of Liao songs into Chinese Mandarin. This has greatly inspired Nong Ming Jian and suggested ways in which the tradition should be promoted and preserved. 
，就把歌书收起来，就变成我们这种收集，把歌书收集起来，作为切入点输出。The indigenous Zhuang language is also called Tu Su script. For thousands of years, Liao Song's lyrics have been recorded in this language and passed on from generation to generation. With the support of Nong and Huang, Luo Han Tian, an expert on Zhuang culture, compiled four volumes of Liao Songs of Pinguo Zhuang people. This has laid a solid foundation for future research and promotion. In Nong's opinion, Getting the lyric books published was only the first step. More effective and innovative ways are required to better promote and preserve traditional Liao songs. In the spring of 2005, Zhao Yu was left alone by the band members, and it seemed that his dreams would never come true. But it was at this critical moment that great opportunities came about by surprise. Traditions need to be promoted in a modern way, and pop music needs to be combined with folk songs to add a special flavor. Against this background, Nong Min Jian proposed a pop band that was established in 2005 with the support of the local government. It's called Ha Liao, and Zhao Yu is the lead vocalist of the band. Moon is Ha Liao's first single and also its first try of combining rock music and traditional Liao songs features. The theme of this song is love. The folk song repeatedly referred to in the song is the most famous love song of the Zhuang people snuggling under the kapok tree. Moon was written and composed by Mo Yan Se shortly after he joined Ha Liao. He graduated from the Guangxi Arts Institute and is a die-hard fan of both pop music and folk songs. Mo Yan Se accompanied Nong Min Jian in his visit around Pinguo County, hoping to get a better understanding of Liao songs. This was a great boost to his songwriting work. Ha Liao grew rapidly with the support of the local government. The group performs both pop music and traditional Liao songs, making them all the more appealing and attractive. Their efforts are quite conducive to the promotion of Liao songs. There's less than three weeks left before the quarter-final of China Central Television Young Singers Contest.
Zhao Yu and Mo Yanzhe are busy practicing. The song they're going to perform is a newly written one called Carefree Life. The Chinese Mandarin lyrics of Carefree Life were written by Zhao Yu's father, an engineer. He said it was a gift to his son. The part in the Duang language is from a traditional Liao song. In June 2010, Ha Liao participated in the quarter-final of the singers' contest held in Beijing. Although they didn't make it to the final, their performance impressed millions of people. Thanks to all kinds of promotion, more and more people are getting to know Liao songs. But Nong Mingjian and Huang Guoguan still face daunting challenges, namely how to preserve the tradition and pass it on to later generations. Each Wednesday afternoon, students of the experimental primary school in Pingguo County have a Liao songs class. In recent years, more and more middle and primary schools in Pingguo County have begun to offer Liao song lessons. Local governments expect young people to learn to sing Liao songs through these lessons. Sun 